control and coordination we know that living things produce response to stimulus to protect themselves nervous system and hormonal systems help the organisms to produce responses to stimuli nerve cells play an important role in detecting the stimuli nerve cells are also called as neurons each neuron has different parts like cell body nucleus dendrites axon and nerve endings the neurons that are present in the sense organs have specialized tips called as receptors these receptors detect the stimuli and converts it into electrical impulses the receptors that are present in the nose are called olfactory receptors they detect the smell the receptors that are present in the tongue and helps in detecting the taste are called gustatory receptors the neurons carry the information to different parts of the nervous system this is called nerve conduction the neurons collect the nerve impulses by their dendrites and pass them to other neurons by their nerve endings the nerve endings of one neuron and dendrites of other neuron are not attached directly to one another there is some gap between them this gap or this junction is called as synapse at the end of the nerve terminals the electrical impulse is converted to a chemical signal this chemical crosses the gap and reaches the dendrites of another neuron there it again converted into electrical signal the neurons that carry the information from sense organs to brain or spinal cord are called sensory neurons the neurons that carry the information from brain or spinal cord to muscles or glands are called motor neurons there are two pathways in which responses are produced to stimuli in one pathway information about the stimulus passes to spinal cord spinal cord to brain now the response is generated in the brain and it passes down back to spinal cord and it finally reaches the muscles this is a long pathway and takes considerable amount of time to produce responses in this short pathway information about the stimuli passes to spinal cord where it is processed quickly and the responses are produced but in some situations organisms need to produce very quick responses to protect themselves from the dangerous stimuli in such cases they take a short pathway these responses reach the muscles and cause immediate movements this kind of quick responses are called reflex actions the pathway by which a reflex action is executed is called reflex arc receptors sensory neurons relay neurons motor neurons and effectors are the components of the reflex arc thanks for watching please like the video please share this video with your friends please subscribe to great booster channel press the bell icon to get all the latest updates check the description to find links of other useful videos check the end screens for our new videos